this is a homemade Brumby pump. It costs $46 instead of $600 or $800. The key is submergence. You have you have to go under the water far enough for there to be water pressure enough for the bubbles and the pull to be enough pressure to get water out however many feet you want. 66% uh, is optimum for how much water you're underground versus how much lift you have. Or how is that? X over Y. This one over this one equals about 66%. And we uh, ha had this well drilled a couple of years ago about a year and a half ago. It's been sitting here not being able to get water out of it for this much time because I didn't want to go with the badass pumps with the mechanics and all the underground wiring and everything. <clears throat> so last night we went to Lowe's. We're told we couldn't, it wouldn't happen, it wouldn't work, but we did it anyway. We bought $46 worth of PVC pipe and airline and little connectors and put it together and after only a 10% submergence, it's working. We got water coming out. So we're going to show how it works. Hi, I'm Norman. I'm Kathleen's partner in this crime. Um, so this is a little bit of the engineering of what we did. We have the air pipe coming into a T connector. The air tube is perforated at the end so we get little bubbles coming out inside the pipe. And the air tube only goes up the pipe, what, maybe an inch or two, maybe at most. And we plugged off the end so we just don't have big gloppy bubbles. We have actually tiny bubbles by <clears> perforated <throat> pipe. We plugged off the end with a just a bolt. Yeah, we just plugged it off with something. We just stuffed to the end with a galvanized bolt is what we did. But you can anybody can use anything. And we also made the holes with a drill bit. We, we Yeah, we just used a drill bit. We made about 20 holes? Yeah, maybe, maybe 20 holes. Too much detail. Okay. <laughs> People want to know. Okay. We gotta figure that out. All right. Okay. <laughs> and so, that's <laughs> what we did. And then we have about maybe a two foot length of pickup pipe because if you have too many air bubbles coming out at once and not enough air bubbles can go up, they might go down first and then we would lose bubbles out the pipe. But this way the bubbles stay within the pipe, they stay contained, and they add the pressure to up to the up direction is what we all want, right? Okay, this, this well is actually, we'll see if we can see anything down in there. Sure enough, oh, this is really blurry. But this well is drilled at about 80 foot depth, I guess is what I was told. And with an 80 foot depth, the water level we measured is at like around 23 feet from the ground level. And so we now have, right now we have about 40 feet of pipe length just attached to our thing. And so let's put her in and see how it works. Okay. Um. The same 40, length, 40 feet length of pipe that we showed you is now inside. It kind of bends, so it's not too hard to put in. This is a Boy Scout cinchy thing to keep us from losing our pipe down 80 feet into the water. I don't know if it would float, but we still can't reach 23 feet down to grab it if we lost it. Um, it's working pretty good. <clears throat> Here is a little pump. Um, that my handyman friend left with me for airing up my tires. I don't know how old it is. I don't know how strong it is. It just, it's just like this. Just found it. I don't think air pressure came out to be a big factor in all the designs that we looked at. Um, the airline, we've only got about 10 more feet of airline, which is our limitation. We didn't expect to get water at this lowest submergence, but we did. We're going to show that right now. Okay, turn it on. Okay, we, ha we have to turn it on by plugging the plug in. It doesn't have a switch or anything fancy. And it takes a few seconds for the water to start coming up and here it's coming. Now of course after it comes out we've got a way to direct it into a tank which we'll talk about later. This is just uh, 15 feet into the water and it's lifting above uh, 25 feet. Okay, we added another 10 feet of pipe to the depth so now we have 25 feet below the water submerged in the water and we have 25 feet of lift above the water level. 
So we've got 50 feet of pipe there, and we've kind of teed off the top of it and so that the whole pipe is sitting on the tee there, so it's not going anywhere. And as you can see, we've got water, and that water is being lifted by air up 25 feet. There's no valves, there's nothing, there's just this no little bit of air. And there's no pressure here, but that's not the point. We're not after water pressure, we're just after water. And so the water then will collect in a tank, and then from there, then we can use a, a different pump, an actual water pump, to pressurize a house or a hut or any kind of system.